Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Um, welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So today is my um, yarny, stitchy catch-up. Um, so I have a finished object to show you and some whips as well as some acquisitions. So let's start with the finished item and this one I'm really excited about. It is my pizza gnome and I think he is so super cute. He has a really cool hat I think and I think that he came out really nice. So I have the printed pattern here but I didn't print it in color. So this is a Happy Dolls pattern. Um, really nice pattern really well written easy to work with the only thing that I did differently was um, the number of chains for the onions I did a couple less chains because I thought they were too big when I did the first one um, my last video I had started this and I talked about the colors and specifically I talked about these leaves because I've never had leaves on my pizza um, and a bunch of people mentioned that they're pro it's probably basil and I would agree it's probably basil um, when I make pizza, um, I buy a pizza kit, excuse me, and the pizza kit includes a spice packet, and I would say probably the majority of what's in that spice cabinet packet is probably basil, but it is not in leaf form, it is in powder form. But anyways, I think he is really cute, he came out really nice, and I will show you the yarn that I used for him. Where did my yarn go? There it is. So I kept it in this little organza bag. Um, when I buy yarn from uh, one of my sell one of the sellers here in Canada, they always put it in these little organza bags if that's all you buy is that much yarn. So I use Sheepy's Katona for it. I sorry, I don't have the names written down, but I know the color numbers. So this is color number what 515, and that is the green leaves. I'm pretty sure this color is actually emerald. And the yellow is color number 208. I'm pretty sure this one's golden yellow. The skin is color number 255, which is shell. The red is color number 115. Oh, and it's stuck. These are Sheepy's Katona. I forgot to say that, I think. Um, we have color number 110, which is jet black. The beige is color number 179. I only have a tiny bit of that left. That was, most of these were open skeins. I already had them. And the white, I've wrapped it around here, but I can't read the color number. I think it's color number 105 or 106. It's the whiter white, which I think is snow white. And then I used, um, forgotten what they call it. Um, it's a wool product and I use felting wool and I used it for the beard. I think it's called felting wool. Um, I find the beards a lot more fun to make using that. They take a lot less time than it does to, you know, pull the strands apart of the yarn and, and make it all bushy looking like that. And I think that they come out really cute. So I'm very happy with him and yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. He'll probably just live up on my shelf, but um, I think that he is super cute. So that is my one finished object. And I started two new things, like I didn't need anything new to work on, but I started two new things. So um, I had finished a sock on my last video, so I decided to start a new pair of socks. And I'm using this, I think it's called online, it's hard to read, online super sock. Most of this label's not in English, but this is 75% uh, virgin wool and 25% polyamide. It's kind of scratchy. Um, so this is my second pair of socks that I've made, so the first time using this type of uh, yarn. So we will see how they feel on my feet when they are done. But I've just started the cuff. That's how I've got far I've gotten so far, and I'm using 2.25 um, circular needles. I'm going to talk about those needles a little bit more in a few minutes. That is my sock so far. And the other item that I started, I can't find it. Just a minute. And what did I do with it? 
Hmm. Hang on. Sorry about that. I have a stack of stuff in this chair beside me and I couldn't find it. It was underneath everything. So I started the Perfect Topper. I got this in my Annie's... Sorry, I'm creating my shadow on myself. I got this in my Annie's um, I Love to Crochet kit. Um, I wasn't really super excited to work on this, but I do really like the color of it and I do really like the yarn, so I wanted to give it a try and see whether or not I enjoyed making it. So this is it so far. Sorry, I've got it upside down. I'm on the fourth row. Um, I am enjoying working on it so far. It is a bottom up pattern. You start at the bottom and then you split for the armholes and continue it and then sew the shoulders together when it's done. Um, I'm making the medium size and I'm hoping to have enough yarn um, to make the bottom extra long. Um, I'll kind of, once I get to the where you start to split, I will see whether or not I think I have enough and I'll add a few rows there if I think that I'm good to do that because um, this seems a little short to me. I prefer my um, my tops to be longer um, and so I think I wouldn't be comfortable in this. If I, do, if I do end up making it this length, I'll probably just donate it afterwards no matter either way. But this is the perfect topper and the yarn that it's made with is this Annie's Click Club 40% acrylic, 60% cotton. It's very soft. It's a three weight. Um, I really like the color. It's coming a little darker blue than it is. It's a little bit more of a dusty blue than that. Um, but I do really like the color of this and I do like the feel of it, although it is a little bit splitty. I'm using a five millimeter hook and so far it's not too bad. I have already altered the pattern though. Um, Pamela at Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Hi Pamela. Um, she made this and I believe when she made it the second time she added a single crochet row at the bottom which I agree it needed something before you start um, doing their special stitch. Um, so I did do a row of single crochet before I started that because I thought the bottom needed a little bit more to it. Looking at the picture it just the bottom seemed a little flimsy. I thought that it needed a little bit more. So that is the perfect topper. And those are the other items that I've been working on. Um, I don't think I've really worked on much else this week. So I'm not going to show my other whips because if I haven't worked on it, I'm just not going to show it. So acquisitions. Um, one of my last couple videos, I had gone and got some knitting items. I went and got more on knitting items. So I went back to Lovely Knitting. They are located in North York, Ontario. And I was in the area, so um, I popped in and I picked up a few more items. So I wanted more items to make socks. And I wanted some more variety of needles. So I got some more of these Knitter's Pride Zing 9 inch circulars in various sizes. So I got. Um, I got 2.25s, which is what I've started those new socks with. I got, this is a 2.75, I got 2.5, and that's the empty package for the other one, and I, 2.75, 2.5, 2.25, no, I probably just got the three. And then I got DPNs in all the same sizes. And one of the things I like about the Knitter's Pride Zings is that they use the same colors for all the products of the same size. So if you buy 9 inch circulars in, I think it's 4 millimeter, I think they're like a darker blue. And then the DPNs would be darker blue and all the different lengths of, of circulars would be the same blue color. So I really like when they color match things, it just helps me grab the right color and the right size right off the bat. So something that I appreciate um, and yeah so I already had some of these so I just purchased more for my collection the other thing that I got while I was there was some yarn because you know you can't go in a yarn store without buying yarn so this is some more sock yarn this is called diamond luxury 
Tradition Sock. And it is 100 grams, 400 meters, 437 yards, 42% wool, 51% acrylic, and 7% nylon. And I got this light gray color. And I also got this, um, it's kind of like a light blue. It's coming through darker on the camera than what it is. It's more lighter color than that. Um, and I think this is the same specs. It is a slightly different label, but it's the same specs. Yes, it is. And they recommend a three millimeter needles on here. Yeah. So that's the yarn that I purchased. This is very soft, much softer than um, the yarn that I'm using for these socks right now. This wool is much softer. It's like less wool content as well, but it's much softer and um, I'm looking forward to working with these. I think I'll try to make two color socks with these and mix them together. I think it'll look nice together. So that is my purchase from Lovely Knitting. The other thing I got was my Next Annie's kit. Um, as I said earlier, I subscribe to the Annie's Love to Crochet kits and I have been for, this is my third one that I've received, so three months. And the first one I got was the vest. The second one that I got was a lapgan, and I wasn't too happy with this one. That one, um, this new one that I got, I'm pretty happy with. Um, so this is the pattern that it came with, and it is a stip stitch sampler carry all. So I think it looks cool. I like stitch sampler type patterns. My only complaint is going to be I think this does not have a box bottom. Um, in the pictures it doesn't appear to have box bottom um, I think I'll probably make it according to pattern anyways because I'd be afraid of running out of yarn to add a box bottom but um, I like stitch sampler patterns so I think it's going to be fun to work up and I did not open the package for the yarn but I like the yarn colors I think they're very pretty these are once again Annie's Kit Club's yarn and these are 100% cotton uh, three light. Um, all of these colors are 132 yards, and I think this one's bigger. I can't find the size on this one. Yeah, this one's 198 yards. It's a bigger, this darker blue, it's a bigger skein. So I'm looking forward to working that up once I get some of these other projects done. I need to stop starting things and just finish some. Um, but that is my acquisitions. Um, upcoming is just to finish up some of these things that I have. I need to stop starting things. Um, I had shown a cake gnome that I made a few weeks ago, um, for a friend's 50th birthday. Um, it was a cake gnome and it was, uh, multi-tone pink and her granddaughter's birthday is in about a month and she has asked me to make a cake gnome for her granddaughter's first birthday so um but she wants purples and i don't have those colors so um, i need to get an order in for some more yarn just trying to figure out what else i want because i had some other things in mind that i want to make so i need to sit down and go through my color go through the colors that are available and pick what I want and put in an order. Um, and I think that is about it that I have to talk about today. So um, I love reading your comments. If you wanna tell me about what you've been working on or if you have any questions about any of the items that I've talked about, I will link all the, whatever I can in the description box below. Um, and yeah, feel free to comment. I love to read your comments. Um, and I'll see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye.